Good Friday, September the 14th to you, and welcome to Sexton Field in Walnut Ridge, Arkansas. I'm Alex Smith with Tube Town, and I'll be with you for every play of tonight's non-conference matchup as the 1-1 one one Warriors from Westside, led by Coach Chad Mitchell, take on the 1-0 oh Walnut Ridge Bobcats, led by Coach Larry Treadway. We're going to take a short break here at Tube Town, and we'll be right back with kickoff from Walnut Ridge, Arkansas. And number At Temps Plus Staffing, our business is a people business, and we're really good at what we do. Whether you're looking for a clerical, industrial, or some other type of employment, our staff knows where to find the right job for you that offers growth potential, benefits packages, and great pay. Stop by our office in Blytheville or Osceola, or check our website today. Temps Plus Staffing, top jobs, reliable staff, great people. Zach Chrysler and Eric Wilcoxon are back to return for the Walnut Ridge Bobcats. His number two, Eric Wilcoxon, gets the ball, runs up the left side, takes it up the middle, finds a seam, and he's gone. 50, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 10. He is pushed out of bounds at the one-yard line. Eric Wilcoxon on the return for the Bobcats. First play of the game is a return all the way to the two-yard line as the Walnut Ridge Bobcats take over. <laughs> Walnut Ridge is 1-0 on the season. Week one, Walnut Ridge defeated Corning 33-30. Their second week was canceled due to inclement weather. Hurricane Isaac had much to do with that and a lot of the high school football games going on in Arkansas that week. Up the gut, no gain. Tackle by Austin McHugh and Zach Anderson. Tyler Clements first carry on the night for the Walnut Ridge Bobcats goes for no gain. Second and goal for the Bobcats from the west side three. Zach Chrysler sets up in the spread formation. He looks right. Fires to the end zone number 11. Hunter touchdown. Flippo Bobcats. touchdown. Touchdown pass for the Bobcats from number 12, Zach Chrysler to number 11, Hunter Flippo. That is Zach Chrysler's first touchdown pass on the night. A two-yard completion. Extra point try, number 81, Ryan Vaughn. Number 81, Ryan Vaughn sets up for the extra point try. Low snap, kick is up. It's a high lob and it's good. Extra point is good. 11 minutes, 3 seconds to go in the first quarter. The score, Walnut Ridge. 50 seven, second seconds off zero. the clock here at Tube Town, and we're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back with kickoff. Mom, what's wrong with the Internet? Who's streaming again? Why is it so slow? Why it's not working. Mom, something's wrong with the Internet. Sit. I don't know. Don't let your family suffer from a slow internet connection. With Ritter, you get the speed you need for online harmony. Speed matters. Get the highest internet speed only from Ritter Communications, right by you. Welcome back to Sexton Field. Walnut Ridge is taking over on West Side's 39-yard line. It's third and five to go. 6.15 left to go in the first quarter. The only touchdown on the game was a two-yard touchdown run by quarterback Chrysler, and he is taking over again in west side territory. Out of the spread formation in the backfield, Tyler Clement. Oh, it's an option. Number 21, Cole Hicks takes the ball up the left side, and he's Cole tackled Hicks by a gang carry. of west side warriors. Tackle by Michael Quillman and Zach Swindle. First down, Bobcats. It's going to be a first down and 10 for the Walnut Ridge Bobcats. 
on the 22-yard line of the Westside Warriors. From the West Side looking to yard put line. up another six. They're running a double running back spread formation. Wilcoxon is in the motion up the middle. Short gain. A couple yards on the play. Tyler Clement on the carry. Clement carries it for a gain of two to three yards. Crisland commit in the backfield. They're in the two running back spread formation. They're going to pitch it to number two, Eric Wilcoxon. He takes it around the right side. He goes, oh, he's hit, knocked out of bounds by number nine, Josh Pierce. Tackle by Michael A five foot eleven, 138 pound senior. First down, Bobcats. It's going to be another first down for the Bobcats. First and goal for Walnut Ridge from the west it side. It will be a first line. and goal inside the five yard line. A 20 yard run by Eric Wilcoxon for the Walnut Ridge Bobcats. Chrysler takes a snap. He goes left. He's led by Clement with a block, as well as number 10, Peyton Poole. He puts it into the end zone for another touchdown. Ridge touchdown, number 12. Zach that is Chrysler's second touchdown on the night. First running. And we're going to take a – nope, we're going to stick around for the field goal. Ryan Vaughn to attempt the extra point. Ryan Vaughn's on the field. A senior wide receiver slash kicker. He's going to attempt the extra point. The first one was a high arcing extra point that just made it through, almost reminiscent of David Akers. This one looks the same, but it does not go through extra the upright. Extra point is no good. Five minutes, eight seconds to go in the first There's quarter. There's 5.08 left Walnut to go Ridge in the first 13, quarter. West Walnut side Ridge zero. 13, West Side 0. We're going to take a quick timeout, and we'll be right back from Tubetown. Mom, what's wrong with the Internet? Who's streaming again? Why is it so slow? It's not working. Mom, something's wrong with the internet. Sit. I don't know. Don't let your family suffer from a slow internet connection. With Ritter, you get the speed you need for online harmony. Speed matters. Get the highest internet speed only from Ritter Communications, right by you. Welcome back to Sexton Field in Walnut Ridge. There's 5.08 left to go in the first quarter. The Bobcats Ryan are up on the West Side Bobcats. Warriors, 13 to nothing. Chrysler went in with a two-yard touchdown pass on the first possession of the game for Walnut Ridge. And the Number second nine, possession, Chrysler took it in for a two-yard touchdown and run. 30, Here's a squib kick up the middle. It's bobbled by West Side, but West Side seems to have got on the ball. They will take over at their own 40-yard line. Westside recovery, number 23. Westside will Amanda. see what they can do on this possession. Last time they were stopped on a fourth down and six in Walnut Ridge territory. Chase Man for Westside Warriors will take over. Second possession of the night for the Westside Warriors. They line up again in the wishbone with spread wide receivers. Pitch outside to Austin McHugh. He is wrapped up and taken down for Austin a McHugh short, short carry. game. Maybe a yard. Tackle by Rowdy Ditto and Zach Chrysler. Second he was nine. taken down by Rowdy Ditto Four and Zach Chrysler. Zach Chrysler playing both sides of the ball line. tonight. A very talented athlete. He is a senior here at Walnut Ridge. It's going to be second down and 10 on the west side 41. 425 left to go in the first quarter. Chase man behind center. He's going to roll to the right. He's going to throw it. He throws it deep to the right side. And it is caught 
by number nine, Josh Pierce. A five foot 11, 180, 138 pound senior out of Westside. Big game for the Westside Warriors. First and 10, Westside from the Walnut Ridge 42. It's going to be first and 10 for Westside from the Walnut Ridge 42 yard line. 412 left to go in the first quarter. That was a great, great pass by Chrysler rolling to the right. He put it right on the money. And also a great catch by Josh Pierce. Chrysler lines up behind center. They're going to hand it up the gut. That's Katoon Dodd, number 45. He's 220 pound senior. Peyton Dodd on the carry. Second and one. <clears throat> it's going to be second and one on the Walnut Ridge 33 yard line. West side. Excuse me, that will be a first down. They are going to move the chains. No need for a measurement. First and 10 for West side from the Walnut Ridge 32 yard line. 3.50 to play here in the first quarter. Westside has a good looking drive going after a long pass from Chase Mann to Josh Pierce. They're gonna line up in the wishbone spread again. They're gonna hand it up to Dodd, hand it up the middle to Dodd again. Short game. Peyton Dodd on the carry. Tyler Clement and Levi Lewis on the tackle. We're going to have number 14, Tyler Clement. Second and seven. Defensive lineman senior for Walnut Ridge line. on the tackle. It's going to be second and seven. On the Walnut Ridge 29, west side pushing forward. Man on the keeper. He looked to go left, but he was wrapped up by a swarm of Bobcats. Chase Mann on the carry. So far, it's been a really clean game. There's only been a couple flags that's went along very smooth. It's going to be third down and nine on Walnut Ridge's 31-yard line. Just under two minutes and 30 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Walnut Ridge Flag on the play. looked like they were trying to jump the snap and they got a little too antsy. But no, it will be a false start Illegal on Westside Warriors. Against West Side. You had number 32, Robert Vaughn, acting like he was going to blitz and that was enough to scare the offensive lineman into a false start. So it's going to be third and 14 on the Walnut Ridge 36-yard line. Just under two minutes left to go in the first quarter. Man rolls to the left. He throws it deep, and he overshoots his man by about 10 yards. Pass was intended for Connor Caples. Intended for number 87, Connor Caples. Fourth and 13 for Westside. It's going to be fourth and 13 on the 36 yard line of Walnut Ridge. 149 left to go in the first quarter. Walnut Ridge does look like, or West Side Warriors, excuse me, they do look like they're going to bring their punt team on the field. Number four, Lane Campbell, deep to punt for the Warriors. Eric Wilcoxon. Campbell on to punt for the Warriors. The Wilcoxon to return for the Bobcats. The kick is up and it will go into the end zone for a touchback. We're gonna take a touchback. short break here at Tube Town and we'll be right back after this. Welcome back to Sexton Field. One minute, 42 seconds left to go in the first quarter. It will be the third possession for the Walnut Ridge Bobcats. They are taking over on their own 20. 
They have scored two touchdowns on their two previous possessions. Chrysler running once and Chrysler passing once. Chrysler passes to the left, passes incomplete. Just short of his intended target, number 10, Peyton Poole. Intended for number 10, Peyton Poole. Peyton Poole is also listed as a quarterback and defensive Second back and, and is a senior. From the Wall of Ridge 20. <laughs> It's going to be second and 10 from the Walnut Ridge 20 yard line. Chrysler takes a snap, looks to the right. He's going to throw it out route just off the fingertips of Flippo. Third and ten for the Bobcats. It was a nice run route by Flippo, just a little bit overthrown by Chrysler, right off the fingertips. It's going to be third down and ten from Walnut Ridge's 20. One minute, 34 seconds left to play in the first quarter. There is a light rain tonight here at Walnut Ridge. It doesn't look like there will be too much, but the fans are out with their umbrellas. And here we go with a third and ten for Walnut Ridge on their own 20-yard line. Chrysler looks left. He's going to run to the left. He's going to keep it. He's going up the middle. He's got a lot of yards. And he is dragged down to the 50-yard line. A 30-yard keeper run for Zach Chrysler. Chrysler looked like he was going to pass it to the left. But when he saw nobody open, he decided to keep it, and he took it up the left side, up the middle for a 29-yard gain. It's going to be first down and 10 on the Bobcats' 49-yard line as they're pushing right. Clement in the backfield with Chrysler. They're lined up in the spread formation. And you're going to hand it Clement. Clement up the middle. He's pushing and fighting until he's tackled by a gang of West Side Warriors led by number 52, Zach Hazelwood. Hazelwood is a 5'10", 225-pound senior. Second and four for the Bobcats from the Warrior 44-yard line. The first quarter slowly coming to an end. 40 seconds left. Second down and three from West Side's 44-yard line. Clizzler looks left. He pitches the ball to Cole Hicks. Hicks takes it up the sideline for a 15-yard gain for he's tackled Cole out of bounds Hicks by number 15, First down, Mikhail Bobcats. Quillman. First and 10, Walnut Ridge from the west side 31 yard line. It's going to be first and 10 from the west side 31 yard line. Chrysler has had good luck going to the left tonight. Um, Tyler Clement has also had a good game rushing for 10 to 20 yards. Chrysler drops back. He's going to fire it deep over the middle. To the five, touchdown, Bobcats. Touchdown, Bob Darren Tribble, a junior wide receiver. That makes it three straight touchdown possessions for Walnut Ridge. Touchdown, while pass. Westside has had two possessions, a turnover there and a punt, a both in Walnut Ridge territory. This play does look like it's coming back. There is a flag on the play. That will be the second touchdown tonight called back because of a flag on Walnut Ridge. It's going to be holding Bobcats. on the Bobcats. Westside will have another opportunity to stop them in their own territory. It is first down and 10. The ball will be on West Side's 40 yard line. 20 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Oh, 
The referees seem to be having some difficulty. I'm not sure what the problem is. Okay, the ball was misspotted. And they will move them back another 10 yards. The ball is on the 47-yard line. 20 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Walnut Ridge with a 13 to nothing lead. Chrysler has managed this game well. He is still behind center and they are still running the spread formation. He's going to look to his right. It's a keeper. Rolls up the middle for a solid eight yard gain. Tackle by number 45, Caton Dodd. And that's going to do it here that's for the, the first the quarter, quarter at Sexton Stadium in Walnut Ridge. Ridge. For Two Town, we're going to take a quick zero. break. We'll be right back. At Temps Plus Staffing, our business is a people business, and we're really good at what we do. Whether you're looking for a clerical, industrial, or some other type of employment, our staff knows where to find the right job for you that offers growth potential, benefits packages, and great pay. Stop by our office in Blytheville or Osceola, or check our website today. Temps Plus Staffing. Top jobs, reliable staff, great people. Make no mistake about it. Business is a race. The faster you deliver, the better. These days, old school is getting schooled. Northeast Arkansas is now doing business at quantum speed. Introducing Quantum, only from Ritter Communications. <laughs> Try to keep up. Welcome back to the Sexton Field in Walnut Ridge, Arkansas. Allison Garner. It is the start of the second quarter. The Walnut Ridge Bobcats lead the West Side Warriors 13 to nothing. It is second down and 21 on the West Side 41 yard line. Walnut Ridge slowly pushing. They did have a touchdown this drive, but it was called back. Wilcoxon in motion to the right. They give it to Wilcoxon. He takes it up the field for a solid 20 yard gain, but there is a flag on the play. Walnut Ridge has had several big plays called back tonight and they will have yet again another holding. It Junior will be called back. This year, Malia Friend, Emily Allison, Kirsten Lee, Morgan Smith, Olivia Cox, Kelly Lee. The referees Jane are discussing Lee, the penalty again. Carly Phillips and Anna Jane Wilcoxon. It will be holding on Walnut Ridge, and they will be pushed back yet again. They are still on West Side's territory, 48-yard line. It will be second down and 28 to go for the Walnut Ridge Bobcats. Chrysler lines up in the shotgun in the backfield with Clement. No, that will be Eric Wilcoxon on the right Eric for a gain of five. Tackled by number nine, Josh Pierce. He was tackled by number nine, Josh third Pierce for the, for the West Side Bobcats. Warriors. It is going to be third down Warrior, for the Bobcats on the Warrior 46 yard line. A very salty third and 26 to go. This may be the first possession that the West Side Warriors will stop the Bobcats. The other two possessions have ended both in touchdowns on a touchdown pass from Chrysler and a touchdown run from Chrysler. Chrysler's going to 
Look to the left. He's going to throw it deep up the middle. A beautiful pass and a beautiful catch and a touchdown for Hunter Flippo from Zach Chrysler. Pass from number 12, Zach Chrysler to number 11. Hunter that makes it three for three on possessions tonight. Three touchdowns for Zach Chrysler. Two passing, one rushing as they take a 19 to zero lead. Walnut Ridge is one for two on extra points tonight. The second field goal was missed. So they are gonna line up and go for two here, try to make that even 21 to nothing. Chrysler in the backfield. He will take the snap. He'll throw it to the right. Dive by Darren Tribble. No good. We're going to take a short break here at Town, and we'll be right back right after this. Mom, what's wrong with the internet? Who's streaming again? Why is it so slow? Why it's not working? Mom, something's wrong with the internet. I don't know. Don't let your family suffer from a slow internet connection. With Ritter, you get the speed you need for online harmony. Speed matters. Get the highest internet speed only from Ritter Communications, right by you. Welcome back to Sexton Field in Walnut Ridge, Arkansas. The Bobcats lead the West Side Warriors 19 to nothing. Walnut Ridge is preparing to kick off for the third time tonight after three consecutive touchdowns on three possessions. Number 81, Ryan Vaughn, is gonna squib kick it up the middle, but it will be blown dead. It will be a false start on Walnut Ridge. And we were gonna tee it up and kick it off again. Ten forty-one left to play in the second quarter. Tonight for Walnut Ridge, it has been touchdown pass, two yards by Chrysler, two-yard touchdown run by Chrysler, and then a 40-yard touchdown pass. That is a rough estimate. We do not have up-to-date stats here, but it was another touchdown pass for Chrysler. Walnut Ridge set to kick it off again. Ryan Vaughn will give it another shot. And it is a low line drive up the middle. It will be fielded, but he was on his knee. That was number nine, Josh Pierce. Number nine, Josh Pierce on the return. The West Side Warriors, Warriors will take over on the 22 yard line of Walnut Ridge. Or of West Side, excuse me. Knee was down at the West Side 23 yard line, first and 10. It's going to be first down and 10 on the 23 yard line. As Chase Mann leads his Warriors back onto the field for the third time tonight, hoping they can make more of their first two possessions, which was a turnover and then a punt, both in Walnut Ridge territory. They are back out in the wishbone formation as Mann behind, is behind center. He's going to look to the left. He will pass it as a slant to number nine, Josh Pierce. The ball was dropped in completion. It's going to be second down. And 10, and 10 on the 23-yard line, 10.33 left to go in the second quarter. Man is getting the calls from offensive coordinator Wayne Meyer tonight. The special teams coach for Westside is Fred Carter, and their head coach, of course, is Chad Mitchell. Man behind center, second and 10 from the west side 23 yard line. He's gonna look left again, short hitch, caught by number nine, Josh Pierce. He is rocked in the back by Zach Chrysler, quarterback slash defensive back. It's gonna be third and four on the west side 29 yard line, 10 minutes left to go in the second quarter. Walnut Ridge has a grip on this game as of now, 19 to nothing. Westside has been shut down on its two previous possessions. Chase Man hoping to make some of this possession. Man hands it off up the middle. I believe that is Dodd. 
No, that will be Nick Hall. Nick Hall on the carry. On the carry, a short gain. Tackled by number 52, Kaysen McCoy. He was tackled by Kaysen McCoy. McQuay, excuse me, number 52 for the Bobcats. Fourth and less than one for Westside. It will be fourth and one for Westside on their own 32-yard line. Coach Chad Mitchell is going to go for it here. Westside on the ball quickly. Chase man up the middle with the sneak. Oh, he's got room. He breaks it out to the right. But is stopped. It is a great tackle by number 12, Zach Chrysler. They do get the first down, first down but just by barely. It's going to be first down and 10, first and 10 on the 34-yard line, 34-and-a-half yard line, excuse me, 33-and-a-half. With 8.50 to go in the second quarter, the Bobcats lead the West Side Warriors 19 to nothing. Pitch to the left, number 30, Austin McHugh takes it up the left sideline for a short gain before he is tripped up by a pack of Walnut Austin Ridge Bobcats. Tackle by number two, Eric Wilcoxon. He was pushed out of bounds by Eric Wilcoxon the senior linebacker. Second and 11 for the Warriors from the 33 yard line. It will be second and 11 on the Warriors 33 yard line. Eight minutes left to go in the second quarter. The Warriors have already completed a fourth down conversion. They're looking to keep this drive going so hopefully they can get some points on the board. Man looks to the left. He's got a man right behind him. He's going to get sacked. Number 85, Shelby Wake. That is the first sack of the night for the Walnut Ridge Bobcats. The first sack for the game overall. It's going to bring up second and 11 on the 33-yard line. Just as Westside looked like they were making a little progress, they were sacked for a third loss. And, for and excuse me, that will be Westside third and 18, not third and 12. Man's going to go to the left. He's got another man on him. He is hit hard and sacked by number 12, Chrysler. Walnut Ridge. It was a fumble on the play. Walnut Ridge recovery by number 32, Robert Vaughn. That was a Robert great Vaughn, hit by quarterback slash yeah. defensive back Zach Chrysler as Walnut Ridge is going to take over First and 10, on Walnut West Side's 19-yard side, line. line. Seven minutes left to go in the second quarter. Chrysler in the backfield with him is Clement. They are out of the spread formation. They have ran it all night long. Chrysler's going to hand it up the gut to Clement. Clement lowers his shoulder, spins, and he is down Tyler inside Clement the 10 yard line. Gary. Great run by Tyler Clement. It's going to be first down and 10, excuse me, first down and goal on the eight yard line of the West Side Warriors. Walnut Ridge pushing again. Six forty left to go in the second quarter. Chrysler looking for his fourth touchdown of the night. He hands it up the middle to Clement. Clement is drugged down. He will gain three to four yards on the play. Tackled by Caton Dodd. Tackled by Caton Dodd. Caton Dodd has been in on several defensive plays for the West Side Warriors tonight, as well as playing a little fullback, running it right up the gut. He is a six foot one, two hundred and twenty pound senior out of West Side. Chrysler again out of the spread formation. Beside him yet again is Clement. They're gonna give it to Clement up the middle again. He lowers his shoulder. 
And the refs are not sure. He seems to be very close. They will call it a touchdown. Touchdown, touchdown Walnut Bobcats. Ridge Bobcats. That was a four to five yard touchdown run by Clement for his first of the night. Walnut Ridge does look like they will go for two yet again. Chrysler and Clement yet again in the spread formation. Chrysler's going to take the snap. He's going to roll to his right. He doesn't have a man, so, oh, he does. And it was caught by number two, Eric Wilcox, and the two-point conversion is good. We're going to take a short time out here at Two Town. We'll be right back after this. Make no mistake about it. Business is a race. The faster you deliver, the better. These days, old school is getting schooled. Northeast Arkansas is now doing business at quantum speed. Introducing Quantum, only from Ritter Communications. <laughs> Try to keep up. Welcome back to Sexton Field. 548 left to go in the second quarter. The Bobcats lead 27 to nothing over the West Side Warriors. Walnut Ridge is set to kick off for the fifth time tonight. Fourth time, actually. They have scored four times on four possessions. Deep to return for the West Side Warriors will be Josh Pierce and Austin McHugh. All of the other kickoffs tonight have been low squib kicks up the middle, but this one will go to the 25 yard line where it is caught by McHugh who takes it up the middle and is stuck and dropped at the 30 yard line. He didn't get but five to 10 yards before he was stopped dead in his tracks. Westside will take over on their own 30 yard line. Michael Carr on the return for Westside. First and ten for the Warriors from the West It will be first and ten line. for the Warriors on their own 32-yard line. 5.43 left to go in the second quarter. The Bobcats lead 27 to nothing. They're going to hand it up the gut. And it looks like there was a fumble on the play. Walnut Ridge says they have it. And it, I have not heard ruling from the officials yet. They are talking it over. Westside looks like they have lost the ball. Their offense is coming off the field. And it will be a fumble and a fumble recovery for the Walnut Ridge Bobcats. If I could have your attention, please. Members of the 2012 Walnut Ridge Alley Cats, juniors Jody Reithmeyer, Mary Beth Sherrill, Nikki Pyle. It's going to be first down and 10 Caroline for the Kelly, Walnut Ridge Bobcats Peyton in West Roberts, Side Territory, the 32-yard line. We have 5.30 left to go in the Holt second Lemons, quarter. Madison Cox, Maggie Jackson, Sonny Cunningham, Sydney Lineball, and the Alley Cats. It was lightly Sarah raining here Ferris. earlier tonight. It has stopped as Chrysler takes over on the west side 32 yard line Chrysler is going to throw he looks right he's in trouble he avoids Dodd Dodd had a hold of him he rolls back to the left he throws the ball to a wide open number 21 Cole Hicks for the touchdown 33 to nothing Walnut Ridge Bobcats over the west side Warriors that was a Houdini act my number 12, Zach Chrysler, for his third touchdown of the night, second through the air. Beautiful play. Timeout. 
Walnut Ridge. Walnut Ridge is going to take a timeout, and we're going to do the same here at Tube Town. We're going to be right back after this. At Temps Plus Staffing, our business is a people business, and we're really good at what we do. Whether you're looking for a clerical, industrial, or some other type of employment, our staff knows where to find the right job for you that offers growth potential, benefits packages, and great pay. Stop by our office in Blytheville or Osceola, or check our website today. Temps Plus Staffing. Top jobs, reliable staff, great people. Welcome back to Sexton Field. It is 33 to nothing. The Walnut Ridge Bobcats over the West Side Warriors. Five minutes, two seconds left to go in the second quarter. Walnut Ridge is lined up to go for two-point conversion after their fifth touchdown of the night. Flag on the flag will be thrown. It looks like it's going to be on the West Side Warriors, and it will be. We're going to line up half the distance to the goal line which is just a couple yards. And Walnut Ridge will attempt the conversion again. If I could have your attention, please. A pair of car keys have been found in the ladies' restroom. Please come to the ticket booth to claim them. It's going to be the second attempt for Zach Chrysler on the two-point conversion. Motion by Wilcoxon. They're going to give it to him. He rolls around the right side and dives over the pylon. Two-point two conversion, conversion is, good. is good. 35 to nothing. Bobcats over the, the Warriors. With five minutes, two seconds to go in the first half. Score, Walnut Ridge, 35. West We're going to take a zero. short break here at Sexton Field. And we'll be right back after this. Mom, what's wrong with the internet? Who's streaming again? Why is it so slow? Why it's not working? Mom, something's wrong with the internet. I don't know. Don't let your family suffer from a slow internet connection. With Ritter, you get the speed you need for online harmony. Speed matters. Get the highest internet speed only from Ritter Communications, right by you. Welcome back to Sexton Field. It is a 35 to nothing drubbing Walnut Ridge Bobcats over the West Side Warriors. There's still five minutes left to go in the second quarter. Five minutes, two seconds to be exact. Ryan Vaughn, kicker for the Walnut Ridge Bobcats, has had plenty of playing time tonight as Walnut Ridge has scored on all five of their possessions. This kick, there will be a flag Illegal and a false start the Bobcats. on Ridge the Bobcats. A man did cross the line of the football before it was kicked. We're going to line it up and kick it off again. Deep for the West Side Warriors is number two, Michael Carr, and number 30, Austin McHugh. That is the second time tonight there's been a false start on Walnut Ridge's kickoff. They're going to line it up again. This kick will be fielded. It is over the head of number 30, Austin McHugh. He will pick it up at the five yard line. He makes a move, makes one defender miss two. He takes it up the gut, out to the 30 yard line, a 25 yard return. He made a couple men miss. Austin McHugh on the That was a 25-yard return by McHugh. Number 87, Connor Caples has helped off the sideline. It looks like his wrist is hurt. The coaches are attending to him. At the same time, Chase Mann and the West Side Warriors take the field looking to put up their fourth points of the night, losing 35 to nothing with 4.51 left to go in the second quarter. They will take over on Walnut Ridge's 29-yard line. West side comes out in the wishbone. And they are going to hand it off up the middle to number 44, Nick Hall, who is tackled Nick by number Hall 58, Rowdy Ditto. Not much of a gain. 
just Rally a couple of yards on the play. On the tackle. Cole Hicks also second got in on that tackle with Ditto. For the Warriors. It's going to be second down. From the 35 yard line. And about five from the 34 yard line. He goes to the left side. That's Gage Ditto. Excuse me, Nick, Nick Hall, Hall for the there West Side there Warriors. Is a flag on the play. There is a flag on the play. And it looks like it will be called holding on the West Side Warriors. Holding it is. West side. That does slow again another drive for the West Side Warriors. The referee is marking off 10 yards. And it will be second down on the 34 yard line. It'll be about second down and 15 on their own 21 yard line. 350 left to go in the second quarter. The Bobcats 35 to nothing. Over West Side. West Side looking to put some points on the board before halftime. And they, they've been coming out in this power formation all night trying to get their running game going. They're going to pass it this time. It's a lob over the top. Chrysler with some great West defense almost got to the ball. Four. It was an incomplete awesome. pass. It will now be third and 15 on their own 21 yard line for the West Side Warriors. Third down for the Warriors from the 21 yard line. Man brings his troops to the line. Third and 15 for the Warriors. They're going to hand it off to the left. It's going to be Nick Hall. He gets tripped up Nick Hall for a short Gary. gain. Tackle by number 58, Rowdy Ditto. Rowdy Ditto on the tackle the for Walnut Ridge. West side will bring the out their side, punt team. It line. is fourth and 11 on their own 25-yard line. Just over three minutes left to go here in the second quarter. Lane Campbell back to punt for the Warriors. Deep to return is Wilcoxon for the Bobcats. The punt is away, and Wilcoxon will call for the fair catch. He gets, he's under it. He drops it and will be tackled at the 45-yard line. The referee will signal him down on the 49-yard line of the West Side Warriors. 2.44 left to go in the first Walnut half, and Walnut over. Ridge first will take over. The West Side 49-yard line. The Walnut Ridge Bobcats have scored on every possession tonight. Started off with a touchdown pass by Chrysler, then a touchdown run by Chrysler, followed up by a 40-yard touchdown pass by Chrysler, Clement touchdown run, and a Chrysler touchdown pass. Clement will get it up the middle for a gain of about eight yards. Tackled by number 45, Peyton Dodd. He was tackled by Dodd. Dodd has been all over the field tonight for the West Side Warriors. The Despite Warrior the score, 42. he has had a very productive game both on offense and defense. It's going to be second down and three on West Side's 42-yard line. Walnut Ridge pushing into their ter territory yet again. Chrysler and Clement again in the backfield. Cole Hicks in motion. They give him the ball up the left side, and he is hit hard. Tackled by number Cole 22, Thomas Kraft. First down, Bobcats. But it will be a first down for the Bobcats Tackled by number 22, as they move Thomas farther Kraft. into west side territory. It's going to be first down and 10 on the 33-yard line of west side. 
for the Walnut Ridge Bobcats. Zach Krizler has had almost a perfect game tonight. He has managed the offense very well. He has scored on four out of the five possessions. The other possession was a Clement touchdown run. Illegal procedure against the Bobcats. They will call an illegal procedure on the Bobcats and move them back a few yards. That'll bring up a first down and 15 on West Side's 38. A minute 45 and counting left in the first half. Well, let's see what Chrysler can do with a minute 30 left to go here in the first half. Wilcoxon in motion to the right. They're going to hand it off to Clement. Clement pushes ahead Clement for a good seven-yard gain. One minute, 15 seconds left to go in the first half. And we'll bring up a second and six, the ball on West Side's 29-yard line. Walnut Ridge slowly moving into their territory yet again. Second and six for the Bobcats from the 29 yard line. Chrysler out of the spread formation again. Wilcoxon in motion to the right. And they're gonna fake the option to him and they're gonna hand it off to number 21, Cole Hicks, who runs it up the left side. Touchdown yet again for the Walnut Ridge Bobcats. Touchdown, Bobcats. Great run by Cole Hicks. They gave him the ball a few times up the sideline. He has caught a touchdown earlier tonight. All around good game for Hicks and Chrysler. And Walnut Ridge will try for the point after. They will not go for the two point conversion. Instead, Kaysen McQuaig tries for the extra point. Wide right, no good. We're going to take a quick no time good. out here at Tube Town, and we'll be right back with the final 38 seconds of the first half, just in a minute. Make no mistake about it. Business is a race. The faster you deliver, the better. These days, old school is getting schooled. Northeast Arkansas is now doing business at quantum speed. Introducing Quantum, only from Ritter Communications. <laughs> Try to keep up. Welcome back to Tube Town's broadcast of Walnut Ridge and the West Side Warriors. It is 41 to nothing. The Bobcats lead the West Side Warriors with 38 seconds left to go in the first half. Deep for the number West Side Warriors to, to return are Austin McHugh Ryan Vaughn, number 81, and number two, Michael Carr. Ryan Vaughn to kick off for the Walnut Ridge Bobcats. Walnut Ridge has scored on all six of their possessions tonight, while West Side has been unable to put any points on the board. Deep kickoff will be returned by Michael Carr. He picks it up, takes it up the middle. He's got a lot of room, but he will be tripped up. There is a flag on the play. Carr brought it back to about the 32-yard line. There is a flag on the play. Not sure if it is on West Side or Walnut Ridge. And it will be on Walnut Ridge, personal foul. There is 30 seconds left to go in the first half. Walnut Ridge again personal up 41 to Bobcats. nothing. I'm not sure if Westside is going to try to put some points on the board. They will have good field possession due to the personal foul on their, their own 46-yard line. 
but they have just under 30 seconds to do it. And have Chase Man under center right behind him is Dodd. Three point stance. Dodd's going to lead the way. Number 15, Mikhail Quillman takes it for a short eight yard gain. It's going to be second down and two on, the carry. on Walnut Ridge's. 53-yard line, Second 15 four, seconds left to go Michael in the half. And it looks like Westside will just let the clock run down. They're going to go into the locker room, sort things out. We will be right back after this with a quick recap for the first two quarters of play here at Tube Town. Stick with us. At Temps Plus Staffing, our business is a people business and we're really good at what we do. Whether you're looking for a clerical, industrial, or some other type of employment, our staff knows where to find the right job for you that offers growth potential, benefits packages, and great pay. Stop by our office in Blytheville or Osceola, or check our website today. Temps Plus Staffing, top jobs, reliable staff, great people. Mom, what's wrong with the internet? Who's streaming again? Why is it so slow? Why it's not working? Mom, something's wrong with the internet. I don't know. Don't let your family suffer from a slow internet connection. With Ritter, you get the speed you need for online harmony. Speed matters. Get the highest internet speed only from Ritter Communications, right by you. Welcome back to Tube Town's broadcast of the Walnut Ridge Bobcats and the West Side Warriors. At halftime, the Walnut Ridge Bobcats lead 41 to nothing. The Walnut Ridge Bobcats scored on one, two, three, four, five, six. All six possessions they scored. The first one was a two-yard touchdown pass from Chrysler. And then again, Chrysler ran it in for a two-yard touchdown. And then a 40-yard touchdown pass followed by a Clement touchdown run. And yet again, Chrysler touchdown pass. And then again, a Chrysler to Hicks touchdown pass. They have scored on every possession. West side is another story. They have managed to turn it over or punt on every single possession. The second half hopes to be a little bit different. We'll be back right after this for the second half for Tube Town. I'm Alex Smith, stick with us. Make no mistake about it. Business is a race. The faster you deliver, the better. These days, old school is getting schooled. Northeast Arkansas is now doing business at quantum speed. Introducing Quantum, only from Ritter Communications. <laughs> Try to keep up. Good afternoon and welcome back to Tube Town's broadcast of Walnut Ridge and the West Side Warriors. We are fixing to get the second half underway here to catch you up on the first half. Walnut Ridge scored on every possession while at the same time the West Side Warriors were unable to score leaving the score at 41 to nothing Walnut Ridge Bobcats. West Side will return to start the second half, back deep to return is number two, Michael Carr, as well as number 30, Austin McHugh. Kicking off for the Walnut Ridge Bobcats will be number 67, Jesse Webb. First time he'll kick tonight. The ball goes over the head of the returners right to the goal line, just a foot inside to make it a touchback. Westside will West take over on Walnut Ridge's 20. First down and 10 to start the third quarter. It was a very productive first half for quarterback Zach Krizzler for Walnut Ridge. He was able to take the team into the end zone on every possession, usually by his own doing, once on a touchdown run by Clement. Westside will have the ball on the 10-yard line. 
There was a flag on the return. That's what took them back to the 10-yard line where they will take over. Chase man at quarterback. Behind him is Dodd. And Dodd will get the carry up the middle. Short gain. Caton Dodd on the carry. Tackle by Rowdy Ditto. The tackle was by Rowdy Ditto for Walnut Ridge. Ditto in on several tackles tonight. Tackling Dodd several times. Man at quarterback again behind him is Dodd. They're running the wishbone spread offense. And he will give it to Dodd again up the middle. Tackled by a host of Walnut Ridge Bobcats for a short gain. It will make it third and short. Inside their own 20 for the West Side Warriors. 10.40 left to go in the third quarter. Westside has been in Walnut Ridge territory Tory only twice. They will hand it off, off the middle. It is a keeper around the outside. Man kept the ball, faked the handoff. He makes it across the 50 inside Walnut Ridge territory to the 45-yard line. First down, Chase Man and the Westside Warriors. First down, Westside. First and 10 for the Warriors. Chase Man Wall faked Ridge it up 47. the middle, kept it, went around the left side for a big gain. It's going to make it first down and 10 inside Walnut Ridge territory. Just under 10 minutes to play here in the third quarter. Man gets the call from the sideline, delivers it to the team. Josh Pierce wide out right. Is number 15, Quillman is in motion. They hand him the ball. He takes it up the gut before he is stacked up by a host of Bobcats. Quillman on the carry. Short gain for the Warriors as they look to put some points on the board for the first time tonight as we are just about nine minutes left to go here in the third quarter. The ball is on the 40-yard line of Walnut Ridge. Wide out right again is Josh Pierce. Man under center behind him is Dodd. They're going to hand it to Dodd, and he is going to rumble forward for a huge gain. That's going to be a first down, Warriors. First down, West Side. Coach Chad Mitchell seems to want to establish the run game here in the third quarter. He's handed it off to Dodd up the middle several times on this possession, three to be exact. The big play came from Chase Man around the left side for a huge gain. Again, we have Pierce wide out to the right, Dodd behind quarterback. They're going to hand it off to Dodd again. He's going to be shut down. One yard gain. Dodd on the carry. Tackled by Billy Lawson and Tyler He Pinkley. was tackled by Billy Lawson. And nine stacked up. West side it's going to be second down and nine from the 31-yard line. 7.50 left to go here in the third quarter. 41 to nothing. Bobcats over the Warriors. Warriors slowly pushing into Walnut Ridge territory. Pierce wide out right again. Man under center. Dodd behind him. Still running that fullback position. They're going to fake it to Dodd. Man's going to keep it up the middle. He is lit up Chase by number 82, Tyler Binkley, sophomore for Walnut Ridge. Levi Lewis. Levi Brian Lewis also Dodd went on the carry. Tyler Andrews on the tackle. Just over seven minutes to play here in the third quarter. Third down and six for the Warriors on Walnut Ridge's 24-yard line. 
Pierce again wide to the right. Man will hand it off to Dodd again up the middle. Short gain, just a yard or two, tackled by number 65. Peyton That's Dodd Cody Reidmeyer. He is a junior for Walnut Ridge. Cody Reithmeyer on the tackle for the Bobcats. That's going to bring up fourth down and three. 6.30 left to play in the third quarter. Westside looking to get a first down to keep this drive going. It's been a great drive. They started off on their own 10-yard line. They have moved it slowly but surely all the way up to Walnut Ridge's 24-yard line. But it is fourth and three. Pierce again wide out right. They are going to fake it up the middle to Dodd. No, he keeps it. We're going to see if he got the first down. It is close. But no, Walnut Ridge with the stand. It will be a turnover on downs. Six minutes, six seconds left to play. They will continuously run the clock now because of the scoring advantage of the Walnut Bobcats Ridge Bobcats. Take over on downs. First and 10 from the Walnut Ridge 22 yard line. The ball is on the 22 yard line of Walnut Ridge. It is going to be first and 10. Just under six minutes here to play in the third quarter. A 41 to nothing lead for the Bobcats. Now we do have a new quarterback in the game. It will be Tyler Andrews, the sophomore for Walnut Ridge. He's going to take it around right, and he is wrapped up. No, he is not. Tyler Andrews he got away for a minute, and then he was taken down in the backfield. Will be a short loss for the Bobcats. Brewer for the Warriors came up with the sack. Just over five minutes to play here in the third quarter. And it is going to be second down and 16 on their own 16-yard line for the Bobcats. As again, we have backup quarterback Tyler Andrews in. He's going to hand it off up the middle. And it will be a good game for number 32, Robert Vaughn. Robert Vaughn on the carry. Tackle by number two, Michael Carr. Making the tackle for Westside Warriors is Michael Carr. Third down for the Bobcats. It's going to be third down and five on their own 27-yard seven yard line. line. Again, Tyler Andrews, the backup sophomore quarterback, is in for Zach Chrysler, who has already put up five touchdowns on the board tonight. We're going to run a little option. He pitches it to number 82, who takes it up the gut for a few yards. That Tyler is Tyler Binkley. Binkley. He is also a sophomore. First down. Bobcats. That is going to be enough for a first down for the Bobcats. And the clock continues to roll here on this drizzly night in Walnut Ridge. So it's going to be first down and 10 on the 33-yard line for the Bobcats. They are in their own territory. Andrews is going to take the snap. He hands it up the middle to Robert Vaughn. Robert Vaughn is stacked up by a gang of Warriors. Robert Vaughn on the carry for the Bobcats. A short gain. Tackle by Thomas Kraft and Caton Dodd. Caton Dodd and Second Kraft and for, for the, the Warriors on the tackle. For it's going to be second down and seven on their own 35. 320 left to go here in the third quarter as the Bobcats lead the West Side Warriors 41 to nothing. Down to the left is Darren Midlock. The fumble or the snap is fumbled by number one Tyler Andrews, but he is able to pick up the ball and make a little bit out of a little bit of something out of nothing. Thomas Kraft on the tackle. Thomas Kraft was on the tackle for the West Side Warriors. After the high scoring first half, just 2.30 left here in the third quarter and neither team has scored. Tyler Andrews, the sophomore quarterback, has taken over for Zach Krizzler who had five touchdowns tonight, four passing, 
one rushing. Clement with the other touchdown tonight. It was a rush. Flag on the play. There is going to be a flag on the play. And let's see what the referees will call here. It will be a holding on Walnut Ridge. Excuse me, a false start on Walnut Ridge. We will move them back five yards. And it's going to be third down and 13 on Walnut Ridge's own 29-yard line. 2.10 left to go in the third quarter. Wide left is Darren Medlock. They're going to pitch the ball out to the left. It's going to be number 82, Tyler Binkley, Tyler who is Binkley tackled by number 22 for Westside Warriors, Thomas Kraft. Thomas Kraft it's going to be tackle. close to a first down. It will be fourth down and three on the 39-yard line with a minute 30 left to go in the third quarter. Walnut Ridge will bring on their punt team. Ryan Vaughn back to punt for Walnut Ridge and Ryan to return Vaughn for Westside Warriors is going to be Josh Pierce. Josh Pierce. This the is the first time tonight that the Walnut Ridge Bobcats will punt. It is a low spiral kick collected at the 30-yard line, taken up to the 35-yard line before he's stacked up by a host of Walnut Ridge Bobcats. Leading that Leading the tackling was Chase Flippo, the sophomore for Walnut Ridge. Chase Flippo on the tackle. 55 seconds left to go first here in the third quarter. The it's going to be first and 10 for the Warriors on West Side's 35-yard line. Warriors still hoping to get something going, hoping they can put some points on the board. Wide out right is Josh Pierce. Under center is Chase Mann, and again behind him. It will, it will be Nick Hall, but it will be tossed out to Josh Pierce on the quick screen, Josh who is Pierce tackled quickly for West Side. by Darren Tribble for the Bobcats. Darren Tribble on the tackle for Walnut Ridge. Second and 12. That looks like it will be the last play of the third quarter as we are now under 10 seconds. It is second down and 12 on their own 33 for the West Side Warriors at the end of the third quarter. We're going to take a quick break here at Tube Town. We're going to be right back with the start of the fourth quarter. Stick with us. At Temps Plus Staffing, our business is a people business, and we're really good at what we do. Whether you're looking for a clerical, industrial, or some other type of employment, our staff knows where to find the right job for you that offers growth potential, benefits packages, and great pay. Stop by our office in Blytheville or Osceola, or check our website today. Temps Plus Staffing. Top jobs, reliable staff, great people. Mom, what's wrong with the internet? Who's streaming again? Why is it so slow? Why it's not working? Mom, something's wrong with the internet. I don't know. Don't let your family suffer from a slow internet connection. With Ritter, you get the speed you need for online harmony. Speed matters. Get the highest internet speed only from Ritter Communications, right by you. Welcome back to Sexton Field. It is the start of the first quarter, fourth quarter, excuse me, here at Walnut Ridge as they lead the visiting Westside Warriors 41 to nothing. Westside has second down and 12 to go on their own 33-yard line. Chase Man drops back. He throws it over the middle. It is incomplete, Westside just out of the reach of Josh Pierce, the 5'11", 138-pound senior. It's going to bring up a third and 12 on their own 33-yard line for the Warriors. Just under 30 seconds done with the fourth quarter. Looks like Mikel Quillman, number 15 for the Warriors, will come out of the game. Wide out right for the Warriors is Chris Sims, 
excuse me, wide out left is Chris Sims, man under center. Man's going to look to his right and then back to his left. He's going to run to the left. He is chased, but he will make it up the left sideline for a huge game, and he is still going. He is not going to go down. Chase Man is going to take it from the 33-yard line of his own to the house. Touchdown, Westside Warriors. Great play by Chase Man. A huge run by quarterback Chase Mann for the first score of the night for the West Side Warriors coming it with just 10.48 left in the first quarter or fourth quarter, making it 41 to six Bobcats. And it looks like Mann will stay out on the field Actually, no, they will go for the extra point. They will not go for two. On to attempt the extra point for the West Side Warriors is going to be number four, Lane Campbell, a 6'1", 180-pound senior. Snap is up. Oh, great kick. About a 30-yard field goal for an extra point. We're going to take a short break here at Tube Town, and we're going to be right back with the final 10.48 here at Walnut Ridge. Stick with us. Mom, what's wrong with the internet? Who's streaming again? Why is it so slow? Why it's not working? Mom, something's wrong with the internet. I don't know. Don't let your family suffer from a slow internet connection. With Ritter, you get the speed you need for online harmony. Speed matters. Get the highest internet speed only from Ritter Communications, right by you. Welcome back to the Sexton Field here in Walnut Ridge, Arkansas. This is Tube Town's broadcast of the Walnut Ridge Bobcats hosting the West Side Warriors Walnut Ridge with a resounding lead 41 to seven over the West Side Warriors with just under 11 minutes to play here in the fourth quarter. The West Side Warriors will kick off. And they will kick it deep, but it will go out of bounds. That was number 81. Flag on Chase flag. Sprinkle for the West Side Warriors. Walnut Ridge will begin the possession first and 10 from the 35 yard line. Because of the out of bounds kick, Walnut Ridge will take over on their own 35 yard line. First down and 10. Let's see if Tyler Andrews, the sophomore quarterback, will continue to run the offense for Walnut Ridge. They did not have a successful first possession with Andrews on the field as they did punt, but he does return. And there is a flag on the play before the whistle. Timeout. Walnut and there is a timeout by Walnut Ridge. We'll be right back after this short timeout break. Make no mistake about it. Business is a race. The faster you deliver, the better. These days, old school is getting schooled. Northeast Arkansas is now doing business at quantum speed. Introducing Quantum, only from Ritter Communications. <laughs> Try to keep up. Welcome back to Sexton Field. It's first down and 10 on their own 35 yard line for the Walnut Ridge Bobcats. 10.22 left to go in the first fourth quarter. The Bobcats lead the West Side Warriors 41 to seven. Tyler Andrews, backup quarterback, in for the Walnut Ridge Bobcats. He's going to pitch it to the right, or to, yeah, excuse me, to the right. It's going to be a short gain before tackled by a host of Warriors. Chase Flippo on the carry. It was Chase Flippo on the carry. He is also a sophomore from Walnut Ridge. He plays running back as well as some defensive back. It will be second and four on their own 41 for the Bobcats. 9.50 left to go in the fourth quarter. Bobcats with a 41 to seven lead over the West Side Warriors. Andrews out of the spread. 
Tyler Binkley gets the pitch. He's going to take it around the left side. He's got plenty of room before he is met just across the 50-yard line Tyler Binkley on by a host of Walnut Ridge Bobcats. The clock will continue to run. We are at 9 minutes and 30 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. First down and 10 for Walnut Ridge as they are three yards into the territory of Westside on their 47. It's going to be a pitch to number 44, Gage Ditto, who cuts back up the field before he is stacked up by a pack of Westside Warriors. On the carry. Wide right for the Bobcats is Cash Lee at receiver. In the backfield is Chase Flippo and quarterback Tyler Andrews. They are going to pitch it left to number 82, Tyler Binkley, who takes it up the left side before he is Tyler hit hard a flag on the by number 22, Thomas Kraft, but there is a flag on the play. The White Hat will get the ruling from the other officials and he will signal it was a holding on Walnut Ridge. Eight twenty-four left to play here in the fourth quarter. Walnut Ridge and their second team players getting some action tonight. After Chrysler had a great performance at quarterback tonight for Walnut Ridge, scoring on their first six possessions heading into halftime. After halftime, the Bobcats have not scored. The Westside Warriors, on the other hand, did have a huge run by quarterback Chase Mann to put the only points on the board for them tonight. It is 41 to 7 with 824 left to go here in the fourth quarter. Walnut Ridge is in West Side territory. I'm not sure what the refs are trying to figure out here. But they are working on it. And they will march off five yards. Excuse me, ten yards for the holding. Walnut Ridge is still in West Side territory. In the West Side 49-yard line. It looks like they're starting to get things figured out. Okay, it looks like the referees have figured out and they will march off five more yards and the clock will continue illegal to run again. It was illegal motion against the Bobcats. Second and 16 from the 46 yard line. It's gonna bring up second and 16 from their own 46 yard line. Andrews takes the snap, he rolls to the right. It's a keeper all the way. He is stacked up at the 50 yard line by a host of Warriors. It's going to bring up third down and about 11 yards. Tackle by number 
22, Thomas Kraft. Third On the 50 and a half yard line, field. just inside the West Side Warriors territory. Andrews gets the call from his coach and he delivers it to the huddle. Wide right is number five, Cashley. Flippo is beside Andrews in the backfield. Tyler Binkley in motion. It's a fumble. Andrews picks it up. It was supposed to be a pitch to Binkley, but Andrews had to pick up a fumble and make something out of nothing. He will be dropped for a loss on the play of just about four yards. The Bobcats not have not made many mistakes. But since the start of the second half, they have yet to put together a successful drive. This will be their second punt of the night. Number 81, Ryan Vaughn gets it away, but it will go out of bounds at about the 44-yard line of Westside where they will take over. 6.36 left to play. In the fourth quarter, Bobcats lead 41 to seven. Mom, what's wrong with the internet? Who's streaming again? Why is it so slow? Why it's not working? Mom, something's wrong with the internet. I don't know. Don't let your family suffer from a slow internet connection. With Ritter, you get the speed you need for online harmony. Speed matters. Get the highest internet speed only from Ritter Communications, right by you. It's going to be 6.15 left to play here tonight in Walnut Ridge as the Bobcats lead the Westside Warriors 41-7. Westside takes over in their own territory. First down and 10 on the 44-yard line. Wide to the left is going to be Chris Sims for Westside, but the pitch is going to go to number 30 for Westside, who rolls around the left side. He stays in bounds, makes a couple moves. Austin McHugh, the ball appearing. A lot of running for Austin McHugh for just a short gain. We do have a Walnut Ridge player down, but his players helped him up. Binkley was down. On the tackle for the Bobcats. After making the tackle, it looks like he's coming up with a limp. Second and five. He's going to come off the field, and they're going to bring in number 32, Robert Vaughn, to replace him. It looks like Binkley is okay. He made it off the field on his own. It's going to bring up second and five on their own 49-yard line for the Warriors. Just over five minutes left to play in the fourth quarter. Man's going to pitch it to number 23, Cody Banda. But there is a flag on the play. It will be a false start on the Warriors. We're going to repeat Double second down. Against West Side. It's going to be second down and 10 for the Warriors on their own 44-yard line. 445 left to play here in the fourth quarter. And under center is going to be Michael Carr taking some snaps. Michael Carr is going to go ahead and take the timeout. Timeout, West Side. West Side is going to take a timeout and talk about it, and we're going to be right back after this from Tube Town. Mom, what's wrong with the internet? Who's streaming again? Why is it so slow? Why it's not working? Mom, something's wrong with the internet. I don't know. Yeah! Don't let your family suffer from a slow internet connection. With Ritter, you get the speed you need for online harmony. Speed matters. Get the highest internet speed only from Ritter Communications, right by you. Welcome back to Sexton Field. 4.35 left to play here in the fourth quarter between the Bobcats and the Warriors of Westside. Michael Carr is under center for the Westside Warriors. In for Zach Mann. He's going to pitch it 
to number 23, Brandon Cody Banda for a short gain Cody Banda just over the 50-yard line in to Walnut Ridge territory. Jacob Lawson on the tackle. Jacob Lawson on the tackle for the Bobcats. Third and three for Westside from the Walnut Ridge 49-yard line. It's going to bring up third and three from the Walnut Ridge 49-yard line. Westside Warriors trying to put some more points on the board tonight. Carr again under center. Wide left is Chris Sims, but they're going to hand it off up the middle to Banda, who has wrestled down Thomas Kraft on the carry. by Kaysen McQuay Tyler for the Binkley Bobcats, as well as Tyler Binkley. He got in on the tackle as well. That's going to bring up fourth down and three. And three they're going to stay at the 49-yard line. 3.30 left to play here in the fourth quarter. In the backfield behind Michael Carr is Thomas Kraft. And Carr's going to keep the ball, but there is a flag on the play. Michael Carr on the keeper. Illegal shift against There was an illegal shift against Westside. They had two men in motion at the same time. It's going to make their fourth down, their fourth down chance a lot tougher. Now that they are moved back another five to ten yards. That will be a five yard penalty. It's going to bring up fourth and eight. Fourth and eight. Four back in their own territory the on the 46 yard, yard line. Three minutes left to play here in the fourth quarter. Chase Mann back under center for the Warriors. He's going to look left. He's going to fire it just over the head of his receiver, Chris Sims. The 175-pound senior from Westside. Walnut Ridge is going to take over on down. It's going to be first down and 10 in Westside territory. Two minutes, 45 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. It has been a drubbing tonight by the Bobcats. They got all 41 points in the first half. Westside scored their only seven points midway through the third quarter on a giant run by Chase Mann, who just would not stop. He wanted the end zone and he got it. But now we are under two minutes and 30 seconds. Walnut Ridge is gonna still have their backup quarterback, Tyler Andrews, in the game. There's a whistle. Flag on the play, delay of game against And the it Bobcats. will be a delay of game penalty against the Bobcats. They took too much time to get first the playoff. 15, four wall of red it's going to make it Bobcats first and 49. 15 from the 49 and a half yard line. They are still in their own territory, but just barely. Wide right for the Bobcats is Cash Lee. In the spread formation, Andrews. That quarterback, as well as Robert Vaughn, who's going to get the pitch. He's going to take it around the left side, and he's going to barrel ahead for a good 15 yards. Robert Vaughn, the ball carrier. Just about a minute 30 left to play here in the fourth quarter. Walnut Ridge running the ball between the hash marks, trying to second keep the clock running. Three, it's going to make Ridge. it second and three for Walnut from Ridge the from the line. west side 39-yard line. And it is going to be a pitch to Gage Ditto. He's looking for some blocking. He's going to cut back to the left. He's going to run all the way around. Shades of Reggie Bush, first game in the NFL. But he will be tackled at about the 40-yard line. Gage there is a flag the at the end of the play. A that was a lot of running by Gage Ditto for just a few yards. Nonetheless, an interesting run. Holding against the Bobcats. It will be holding against the Bobcats. 
which it would be pretty tough not to hold in a situation like that where their running back does cut back up the field. It's going to be third down and six. Excuse me. It's going to be third down and 17 on their own 47-yard line. Second and 17 for the Bobcats. Excuse me, second and 17 on their own 47-yard line. 50 seconds left to play in the game. Tyler Andrews is lined up in the spread in motion. Number 44, Ditto. They're going to hand it off up the middle to number 32, Robert Vaughn. Robert Vaughn, the ball carrier. Austin Dunaway on Third and tackle. six to go Third down, four inside four Warrior down. territory. We have 20 line. seconds left to go in the game. It looks like the Bobcats are just going to let the clock run down as they walk off the field. An impressive performance tonight for the Bobcats. Walnut Ridge out of Class 2A Region 3 improves the 2-0. and while the Westside Warriors will go to Final one and two, tonight, they are at a Class 4A Region 3. Side seven. Everyone we're going to take a short break, ball. and we're going to be right back for the stats and the conclusion of the game. Stick with us. At Temps Plus Staffing, our business is a people business, and we're really good at what we do. Whether you're looking for a clerical, industrial, or some other type of employment, our staff knows where to find the right job for you that offers growth potential, benefits packages, and great pay. Stop by our office in Blytheville or Osceola, or check our website today. Temps Plus Staffing. Top jobs, reliable staff, great people. Welcome back to Sexton Field. It was a 41-7 drubbing. The Bobcats over the West Side Warriors. We're going to give you a little recap. Coach Larry Treadway and the Bobcats scored on all six possessions tonight. Walnut Ridge improves to 2-0. Of course, they did not play week two because the inclement weather. They did not get a play to wit. But Coach Larry Treadway does move to 2-0. Next week, they will take on McCrory. But for the Westside Warriors, Class 4A Region 3, they do go to 1-2. They did beat Manila week one. Week two, they lost to Corning 37-7. Coach Chad Mitchell will have some plans if he looks to go into Highland or as Highland comes to visit Westside this week. And uh, we'll see what they can do there. But that's going to be it for us at TubeTown. Uh, for producers Marcus Carlton and cameraman Gary Walton, I'm Alex Smith. Thank you. Tune in next time. At Temps Plus Staffing, our business is a people business, and we're really good at what we do. Whether you're looking for a clerical, industrial, or some other type of employment, our staff knows where to find the right job for you that offers growth potential, benefits packages, and great pay. Stop by our office in Blytheville or Osceola, or check our website today. Temps Plus Staffing. Top jobs, reliable staff, great people.